Hey, any fish? 28th November 2017. Just going through the headlines, and apparently Obama is going to go meet with world leaders. The same exact world leaders that President Trump just went and met just last week, and so forth. And I open it up, and of course, it's a double 9 11. Yep, they're just numbers, I know. But they feed them out to us just to, uh, you know, keep us on our toes. That's not what I'm here to talk about. If you go back like a week or so ago, I did uh, a few videos. I'm not very good at keeping track of them, but I know I touched on what I want to get back to. These videos here, the keys to the kingdom of heaven and Obama 44. I believe those were the ones that you want to look at. There, he's the 44th president, the 22, the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Remember we talked about Peter and the keys and how that brought us back to Isaiah 22, 22. If I can find my little gadget here, Isaiah 22, 22, where he, the key of the house of David, I will lay upon his shoulder. Remember? Does anybody remember? We were talking about Eliakim, son of David, so on and so forth. And he, I will fasten him as a nail in a sure place. And he shall be glorious to him for his father's house, and they shall hang upon him. And then he says, In that day, saith the Lord of hosts, shall the nail that is fastened in the sure place be removed and be cut down and fall, and the burden that was upon it shall be cut off, for the Lord has spoken it. Okay, that's going back to that verse from those videos I did last week, and this is where it's just kind of like picking up. And what does it have to do with Obama? Obama's 44. He's just linked in here because that's what I see. I don't know if he's an antichrist. I know he is an antichrist because he's a liar, and he he told the world that he was a Christian. That's and he's not. And a lie is a lie. You, you know, a little bit of lying it leavens the loaf, man. That's like saying you're a little bit pregnant. You know what I mean? He's a liar. So I just leave it at that. And we see the fruits. You know what I'm saying? But it just found very interesting to me. You remember when Mr. Obama last year? Not this is 2016. When he was quoting uh, Psalm 46 at the 9-11 uh, memorial. And do we remember on 9-11 itself when President Bush read Psalm 23? Psalm 23 of I Pet Goat fame. You see where I'm coming from? So now Obama, 44, is going to meet all the world leaders but tomorrow what i just found extremely interesting was the fact that from the 29th let's see here now we're gonna go back to last year to the 11th of september 2016 and we're gonna go to the 29th day of november 2017 see what we get well wouldn't you know 444 days for 44 so what does it mean well I'll tell you just this little bit that I mean the urgency that I kind of feel and what I'm seeing just through my two little many fish eyes is saying that uh, there's a door that's about to be shut Okay, that's what I'm seeing. There's a nail that's holding everything in a sure place about to be removed. This this is just what I've been getting. And all I'm showing you with the Obama thing is, is this is how these evil cabals, these synagogues and clubs, and it, you, if you think that the whole Illuminati thing is just a funny, trendy thing with all these symbols and whatnot that we see... You better think again. This stuff is real, and you have not seen the true darkness yet. You've heard of it. You can't avoid it. Pizzagate, all of that. Yeah, folks, it's coming to a theater near you, and they're just pushing it out there 
they don't care if you accept it or not. It's here. And you need to be in the right place for all these things that come. And that place is on the rock. Jesus. And time is short. Okay? So if you don't know him, please just give it a shot. Humbly. Okay? To all my brothers and sisters, praise Jesus. Peace and grace to each and every one of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 